I'm Dr. Manju Jilla from Jilla's IVF Clinics Private Limited. These are educational videos and today we are going to discuss about male infertility. 40% of the times couples come with problems in the male and the first step towards diagnosis of male infertility is a good semen analysis. The semen consists of sperms and seminal plasma. Normally, the WHO describes a normal semen analysis pattern as a count more than 15 million with good grade 4 motility sperms and at least 4% of these sperms should have a normal morphology. There should be no bacteria and no pus cells. Well, so these good normal morphology, morphology sperms with a good grade 4 motility that is when the they are so motile that we cannot see the tails of these sperms they have a capacity to normally fertilize a human oocyte this is a sperm and we can see uh, that it has got a head a, a cap a neck a middle piece and a tail so this is a normal looking sperm Apart from this, if any of these are absent, there could be problems in the male fertility. If the motility is not grade 4, the sperms will fail to enter the oocyte leading to male infertility. So these could be all the different abnormal morphological forms in the sperms. Sometimes there could be bacteria present in the semen which also would damage the sperm membrane. Now the sperm head contains all the chromosomes, the 23 chromosomes in the male. The, the sperm cap, the acrosomic cap contains enzymes that will digest the cover of the egg and the tail helps the sperm in the rapid movement. So a semen analysis is done on a slide like this. The sperms are produced in the seminiferous tubules of the testes. From there, they are transported and to some, for some days they are kept in the or they stay in the epididymis which is a long tube. This, when these sperms are inside the testes, they do not get any blood supply uh, from the man's body. But they are exposed to all the toxins from the man's body when they are in the epididymis. So men who have certain infections like HIV or those who are chronic smokers or working in an abnormal environment, all of them will have an effect on their sperm quality, especially a damage in their sperm membranes when the sperms are present in the epididymis because the toxic substances from the blood affect the sperms in the epididymis. Whereas those men with some chromosomal abnormality, their sperm production itself would be low in the testes or these sperms would be destroyed in the epididymis. Sometimes we get a report of a semen which shows absolute azoospermia. Now azoospermia could be because the sperms are not produced in the testes at all or the way in from where they come out, that is through the epididymis and then the vas deferens is blocked on either sides. Hence, all those sperms are present in the testes, they cannot be uh, found in the semen. When such a thing happens, we should examine the size of the testes. If the testes are producing sperms, they would be of a normal size and consistency. And if they are not producing sperms, they would be small in size and consistency. Genetic evaluations of males without any sperms in their semen would show either a chromosomal disturbance or a Y micro deletion. That is a deletion on the Y chromosome of the male. So what do we do uh, when we find a semen analysis report with poor sperm count, motility, pus cells? The first thing what we do is advise the man to have healthy habits. That is good exercise, diet, get out of stress, have a good sleeping pattern, good antioxidants in food, fresh vegetables and fruits. If he has any surgical problem like a varicocele, that should be surgically corrected. If he is diabetic, then he should have his sugars brought under control. If there are any infections in the genital organs, then they should be treated thoroughly with antibiotics. 
in those males where the sperm production is not there or the sperms are not seen in the semen then the semen the sperms can be aspirated from the testes or from the epididymis and used in the ivf laboratory for producing an embryo after producing an embryo this embryo is transferred into the uterus and a woman can have their her the man can have his own genetic baby so if sperm count is low either we can do an iui or we can do an ivf or if it is very low or the sperm motility also is very low then icsi can be done so either sperms can be taken from the ejaculate or they can be aspirated from the epididymis or from the testes or actually a small biopsy can be taken from the testes and even a few sperms if available they can be used to fertilize a human oocyte and a man can have his own genetic baby through ivf thank you very much